um, practices have, have been going to, uh, really well. They're kind of coming together like we would expect at this time of year. Things are, are starting to gel. The routines are looking the way we want. You know, of course, every coach would prefer to be ready at a higher level a month earlier or two months earlier. But right now, we're really uh, pleased with the way things are going. The upperclassmen are doing what we would expect them to do, and that's really come through and step up and do the job that's going. we're going to need to um, be competitive and have the team that we want. We graduated literally three-quarters of our competitive scores from last year, and the three seniors and the two sophomores we have, or two juniors that we have, are really, really doing a great job of filling those vacancies with some uh, high-level gymnastics. And I think in some areas we're going to be stronger, much stronger than we were last year. One event we're still coming around slow on, and I think that will kind of fall into place in time for the competitive season. And, Paul, what do you hope to get out of Saturday night's exhibition, or, or what do you hope to see? You know, it's, it's really important for us to get on a real piece of competitive equipment out of our practice gym. It's in a different environment. There's a lot of value in being able to do that. The floor in one gym is different than another. It's kind of like going to an away meet almost. So the ability to do that is, is, is valuable. Plus, we actually have to make them throw a full routine. We get a chance for them to be, um, what's the term? Well, they're competing against each other in a sense because we're not sure which six people we'll put in a lineup on January 10th when we compete at William & Mary. The results of this weekend are really valuable to tell us, well, who can do what they've been practicing in a meet situation with judges watching. The, uh, for the freshmen, it's, uh, the, the new athletes, it's a chance to see what they do under meet pressure. We know what our returners can do. They're pretty stable competitors. We know what to expect from them when they're put into the lineup. Freshmen, it's always a kind of a roll of the dice. You don't know how do they handle meet pressure. Are they going to crumble? Are they going to perform well? Or are they going to perform what they're used to? So it's a, it's a real good learning experience for everybody. Who should fans be looking at for newcomers? Newcomers, um, you know, I think look for people that have been out of the lineup a little bit. Kendra Daniels was out of the lineup. We have some people that are stepping in, like Morgan Ross is uh, competing really well on three events, and she competed one or two for us last year. As for the freshmen and sophomores, um, uh, we have Kaylin uh, Man Carey was out with a shoulder injury, and so she's not back 100%, and I think she will be soon. And then on the freshman, we have um, a couple of walk-ons that are probably be in the lineup. Sophia Riley, Mackenzie Miller, and uh, Sophia Hyderali will each be competing at least one event for us and hopefully show us something good. And Paul, just and my last question, what you talked about that, you know, that uh, not exactly where you want to be right now. How distracting was everything that went on with the Board of Regents and all that? How much did that play into that? You know, I think uh, it's nice to say it wasn't a distraction. We stayed focused on our job, and that was really what we were intent on doing. I think that it probably affected the athletes some. I know for a fact it affected me some. My stress level is down lower now than it was a month ago. Um, we do what we got to do. We move on. The competitive season is going to be a whole other world of stress, so we'll just step right in and get ready to do the job. I guess, Morgan, just... Talk about you know your mentality going into this weekend. Also, Coach was saying last year it was one or two events. Now he's looking at you for three. Do you feel the pressure? Do you want to prove something? You know, what do you think? Well, for this weekend, I'm really excited to get out there and really see what our team's going to be able to do and have that cohesive effort as a team. Even though we're split into two, we've got the mentality that, yes, it's a competition between the green team and the gold team, but really we're there to support every single individual on the team. I did compete one or two events last year consistently, and I'm, I've been working really hard all summer and all season, and I'm really looking forward to showing everyone what I can do and proving to myself that all this hard work is really going to be paying off over season. I'm so excited for season. I don't think I've ever been so excited to compete than I am as I am this season. Why this season? This season, uh, as a junior, I feel like I'm finally coming into my own and really I understand how competitions work and as a freshman it's all so new and then as a sophomore you're kind of getting the feeling for everything but now as a junior I know what to expect I've been doing my research on other teams I've been working hard in the gym and I know what I should expect for myself and what um, we should be expecting for ourselves as a team so 
it's kind of an interesting environment considering that you'll be competing against some of your younger girls. I mean, it's beneficial to you for them to do well on top of this, you know, to get them ready for competition. But at the same time, it's like you're also trying to beat them. So, you know, how do you remain supportive while being competitive with them? Well, at the end of the meet, when green team and gold team, whoever won, um, instead of going back and talking as a team and saying, oh, green team, you should have done better, or gold team should have done better, uh, we look at, we combine the scores, we look at how the team did as a cohesive unit, and it's really, in the moment, it's about competition between the two teams, but at the end of the day, it's really how did we do as a team.